Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Technical Learning. In this video, we will be continuing with the career guidance series in which we are providing career guidance to many of the folks, whether they are experienced or they are freshers, they are looking to start their career in software testing, QA. So we are giving career guidance to them. So in this video, we will be covering one of the uh, query that we have received from one of our subscriber. So uh, he says, uh, I currently have 5.5 years of experience in software testing, out of which around 1.5 in automation. I have only executed manual test cases and written them, have no experience on writing test strategy, test plan, or leading a team. In automation too, I'm only aware of Selenium, BDD, POM, and Maven. I feel this profile is too common and these skills will not help me any longer in getting the jobs. I'm feeling demotivated without any lack of direction of how and what to upskill and how to survive in the IT industry. So this is the query, not only from the subscriber, but we have found this kind of query very often from many of the people. See, the market is down, so don't get demotivated right now. It is not like it is not the market will not be turning out positive for till the next or till the end of your life. It's not the end of your life or end of your career, right? So see, don't get demotivated at all. You know manual testing, you know Selenium, BDD, POM and Maven. That is too good. Now, what is next for you is you can learn API automation. You can learn rest assured. You can learn API testing using Postman. You can upgrade these skills because these skills are also in demand. It is not like everyone knows BDD. If you know BDD, learn good practices about that so it is very important see knowing automation is not sufficient it should be also important that you should know how to use it effectively when i say effectively that means using the automation what amount of roi is being achieved by your company or by your project that is very important you might be doing automation but if it is not helping manual team, then it's of no use. You might be doing automation, but if it's not helping your team to catch bugs, then it's of no use. You might be doing automation, but if it is not testing the business area, then it's of no use, right? So what you have to do is you have to prepare yourself for the best practices and coding standards with respect to automation. And apart from that, learn API testing, Postman is there, rest assured is there, right? Learn uh, other frameworks, data-driven framework is there, hybrid framework is there, keyword-driven framework is there. Who is telling you that BDD, if you know BDD, that is enough? No, it's not like that. You will have to stand out from the crowd and you should know other things because they might ask you these particular things. What about programming skills in uh, Java or Python? Are you aware about that? Now, writing test strategy or test plan is something that you can get an idea. We have already created a digital product on that on our top mate. So you can refer that particular product. You will come to know how to write the test strategy, how to write the test plan. So what I'll do is uh, I'll quickly share my screen and I'll show you that particular digital product also, which you can purchase at a very nominal cost. So this is the product that I'm talking. So let me just uh, share my screen. Right. So if you go through that digital product, it would be sufficient to, you know, know and to come up with your own test plan and test strategy also. So this, is actually the digital product let me just share my screen so in this digital product we have explained how to create test plan for an e-commerce website how to create a test strategy for an e-commerce website the explanation is given in a very simple straightforward language right you will also know what is the difference between test plan and test strategy right so it's at a very nominal cost you can purchase this product Right. And it would also help you in uh, coming about and knowing how to uh, create test plan or test strategy. Right. Your next concern was that uh, uh, 
you are feeling demotivated how to survive in IT industry. So I have told you about API testing. I have told you about test plan, test strategy. I have also told you about other frameworks which you can focus to upskill yourself. Apart from that, in order to uh, you know get an experience of leading a team, it is something when you can start with two members also. If there are two junior members in your team, you can just guide them to complete their work. You can guide them to do effective testing. You can also guide them to uh, to how to effectively write the test cases by re reviewing their test their test cases. So it is very important that you help them, you support them, and that's how you will know how to lead a team, right? So don't worry. You have five point five years of experience in software testing. That is a very good thing. People out there are freshers and they are still looking for jobs. They are still looking to start their career in software testing. So this is something that you should not worry about at all. You are at a very good stage. Very good things are ha going to happen in your life. Just keep yourself upgraded. In one or two months, the calls will definitely start. It has already started for the experienced people. If you will see, a lot of calls are coming, right? And they are looking for some specific skills. And these days, don't expect work from home kind of a location or a remote kind of a location. You would be, you would have to go to office and you would have to work from there, right? So uh, this is a video. This was a video on the career guidance. If you also are looking for any sort of career guidance, please share your CV at rdautomationlearning at the rate of gmail.com. Right. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And stay tuned for more updates.